do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have a we're reacting to a little different video. You know what I'm saying? This video is basically about girls girls talking about they pretty privilege and they used to be pretty, but now they ugly. You know what I'm saying? Now, personally, me, I f I feel like people are in denial about pretty privilege, right? Girls have it, dudes have it too. You know what I'm saying? If you're attractive, you get treated way better. I think it works more for girls because like dudes are more like 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 physical creatures. Like we like looking at nice looking things girls not so much they more so want to hear good things so like if you're trying to bag a shorty and you ugly you have a chance if you know how to talk right you know what i'm saying you just gotta be you just gotta you just gotta have a good mouthpiece that's really it and i'm talking about talking not the other thing you get to that a little bit later but like i think it works better for girls because like girls that they pretty like they they go get, like i remember i used to have a bunch of like all my friends I, I really never had like dude friends right i always had like female friends right and it was they was really just friends it wasn't there was nothing fishy going on or like that but they would like it would be crazy because there would be like stories like i used to take the bus right when i was a little younger um not younger probably like 17 18 i was taking the bus to work for my dad's office right and you know you gotta pay to get on the bus like a dollar dollar fifty i had friends that there was just girls that look good and they would get on the bus for free the bus drivers would give them bus tickets like the little passes that you just gotta show the bus driver and you get on for free they would they would get them just no reason no reason they walked on the bus and just because they were attractive they got stuff you know what i'm saying you get free food people will buy you clothes just because you look good you know what i'm saying all of this because just because girls look good so pretty privilege is definitely a thing it works like for both genders but it works way more for females that's all i'm gonna say but um yeah we finna watch what the heck these people got to say about it because like if you had pretty privilege and then you turn booty balls ugly and you realize nobody really liked you for you or nobody was being nice to you because they nice they was being nice to you because you because you looked freaking good then your life can get kind of depressing i don't know but um yeah before we hop into the video though Jurag.com, you can buy two and third for you, but let's say so fifty dollars. You see I have to wear two Jew rags. You know why? Double the sexy. If you ugly, put on a Jew rag and you'll have pretty privilege. Or or handsome privilege, or whatever the heck the word is for you. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> That's not guaranteed, because if your booty ball is ugly, I don't think anything can help you. But the Jew rag is probably the closest thing that you can get to being helped. But without further ado, let's hop right into this, man. Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this and tell me like what your worldview is? Like, do you think that people are really nice? Because I just recently got like a degree of pretty privilege and it has been insane how kind people are when they find you attractive. I'm telling you, all. you know what I'm, I'm telling you. And it is very <laughs> hurtful. I'll tell you that much. People who literally wouldn't even look at me before now like or they go out of their way to be kind to me and i'm like hey like that's cool good for me because now i'm privileged but like what is it like it's not even their fault it's probably like a completely subconscious thing or unconscious or i don't know whatever but like unconscious like, means you're sleeping you're stupid Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this and- Yes, girl, let's talk about it because it needs to be talked I about. I have a feeling okay. that some ugly people is where you go stitch this, talk about they got pretty privilege and I'm gonna have to let them know they is not privileged. They is very, 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 very not privileged. And I, I, don't, I don't, I'm not gonna call people out though, but just when you watch the video, you know it's gonna be ugly video. Ugly people in here, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pause it no more. Okay, so let me get my credentials out of the way really quickly. A few years ago, I looked like this. Now I look like this, and that has given me the power to experience both the best and the worst that pretty privilege has to offer. Also, not to go super psychological on y'all, at 9 o'clock in the morning, look up the halo effect on Google and learn more about this. So now let's talk about what pretty privilege actually looks like. It could be, it's little subtle things that you wouldn't notice before. So for example, um, not being charged for that extra drink or dessert at a restaurant, um, having someone offer to put the air in your tires rather than see you struggle doing it. And you can tell me like, oh my God, Kelsey, like maybe people are just good or maybe no. they're just doing a good deed. And I'm okay, I'm with you. They're doing a good deed, but why didn't they do that good deed when I was 257 pounds, huh? Why did all of a sudden all these good deeds start happening to me this, the moment I look like this? Because I went from like one good deed happening to me to a year to 10 of them happening. <laughs> I shouldn't say this. 
But I was about to say she made the example about them paying for the for the extra food. Like when you're pretty, they pay for the extra food. And she asked why they do that when she was two hundred and whatever pounds. It's cause they knew that it would never be enough. I can't. That's bad. That's so bad. That's I can't say that. But that's why they cause they knew they couldn't just pay for that last ice cream. He would have wanted another one. <laughs> happening to me in a week that's not a coincidence i'm sorry hey if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life can you stitch this and okay but yes so i work in the service industry right i'm a bartender and if you were unaware the way you look influences it a lot whether that's tips or how people treat you it just does and when i tell you that my whole life changed why the heck is when this I woman crying getting help for my eating disorder which resulted in weight gain. what the heck is she crying for you cry, get, get off my screen with this. And after the pandemic, I really didn't expect this to make me cry, but people don't me even neither. look you in the eye anymore. They're not nice to you, especially men. Like I would walk up and say, hey, how's it going? You know, how are you? And I used to get, I'm doing really great, honey. How are you? Now it's a little more like, hey, how's it going? What can I get? Two Coors Lights and a Bud Light. And for people saying that that doesn't actually happen, Please raise your hand if you would willingly like to live as a fat person. And the fact that no one raises their hand makes the point. And it just makes you feel hopeless. Like, am I ever going to be worth more than my looks? If you've had pretty privilege, like, your whole life, can you stitch this? I am way too fucking sensitive to be contributing to this. My hand is literally shaking, but I'm going to try. I am also very aware that by fitting into the beauty standard and by being white that I am a very privileged person. So none of this is to insinuate that my experience has been harder than other people's, obviously fucking not. This is just some of what my experience has been living in this particular meat sack. All my life, almost every single time that I was acknowledged for something that wasn't my physical appearance, it was prefaced by the word actually. You're actually really smart. You're actually really funny. You're actually really nice. And that made me deeply insecure. <laughs> That fully conditioned me to think that the things that I find valuable about myself are just invisible to other people. It never occurred to me that people's misunderstandings and preconceived notions about me were on them. I, I took that on and I was like, that's my fault. I'm not doing a good enough job at proving my- I, 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 I don't care about none of the things she's saying. This is, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm just not in the mood today because I usually, I wouldn't talk about, but I don't care about this. Like she, she not really interested in me right now. ...myself to people and I gotta do better. And funnily enough, the desperate need to feel seen and understood um, makes you very easily manipulated by the old men that are preying on you. You've had pretty privilege, like your. I don't understand what she was just talking. I don't understand. She was she was saying basically that people, when they complimented her, it started with actually, as if they didn't realize that she was funny before. Maybe they didn't realize. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't but anyways. Your whole life, can you stitch this? Yeah, girl. Let's talk about it. So it's 100% true that pretty privilege does exist. And yes, it is absolutely rude how when people find you attractive, they're generally just nice to you for that reason and that reason only. Until you are a woman in a power position who steps into a male-dominated industry. I'm confused. Did she put on makeup? I'm really coming for, I shouldn't be coming for everybody, but I'm really coming for everybody today for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm hungry or something. But did she put on makeup and eyelashes? And get her hair done to go be a construction worker? I, I'm confused. And then you might as well be carrying around a tray with coffee and snacks. Pretty privilege actually becomes nearly the opposite, at least in my experience. So I swear the logic is if you're pretty, you have nice hair, you have your makeup done, you have a nice outfit, you possibly could not be in a power position or have any intelligence whatsoever. So for me personally, I work in construction management on multi-million dollar jobs and I can't tell you how fun it is to have my emails ignored and people literally talk to my male coworker and just act like I am there to serve them. So yes, while pretty privilege is a thing, it can be switched in the opposite direction. I could definitely hey. see that. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Cause like people be thinking that girls can't like be in positions of power like that. Like they, like, um, even like you notice it, it'd be like if, if you see like a girl driving a Lamborghini, like most people automatically think, oh, her boyfriend bought her a Lamborghini or she must be married to a rich guy or something. Like that's just what goes through a lot of people's heads, like first off rip, you know what I'm saying? Versus, oh, dang, she probably real successful. She done made a whole business for herself, bought herself a Lamborghini and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it, I don't, it, it's just like that. I don't know why it's like that. That's not, I'm not saying it's right in there like that, but I can definitely see that point of view. 
If you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this and- Someone said it. Before anyone comes to me, I'm not calling myself pretty, but I used to be like a really ugly kid. Like laughing stock of the school, ugly. But asked if I was a boy, ugly. And people used to look at me the way that you look at someone who has food stuck in their teeth and talk to me like I was disabled. Kind of grew into my features and that whole attitude changed. Anyone who grew up the ugly kid knows exactly what I'm talking about. Weird, but it's true. Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you- she didn't say nothing about the pretty privilege. She just explained that she was ugly and now she thinks she's attractive. What? She didn't talk about no privilege at all. She just wanted to do the video so she could be on the on the video. Stitch this and- Hello, so I don't know if I'm qualified to talk about this because some of y'all be looking like IG models in real life, but here's my experience. So basically this is how I look like throughout high school. No makeup, my hair's not really done. I haven't really changed much. So first I'm going to talk about my experience with the guys. So basically, I've never gotten treated bad by a guy. And I'm not talking about relationships. I'm talking about guys that I'm just meeting or that are my friends. Hearing stories about these unconventionally attractive girls, um, talking about how guys disrespect them and look over them. I It was mind-blowing to hear because I've never had that experience ever. Guys are usually nice to me. Um, and I would say 99% of my guy friends have either found me attractive or wanted to date me. I can usually get guys to do whatever I want if it's reasonable, like if I need them to do this or that or give me money or whatever, like they'll do it. And now recently that I've started wearing makeup and, you know, posting on IG, I've had even more attention from guys that would overlook me in high school. Now they won't. Hey, if you've had pretty privilege like your whole life. Okay, part two with how girls treat. Well, what the f you get off, what, why is you back on the screen for? What the heck talking about part two? What? What? Me. So I don't want to say it's the main reason, but it's one of the reasons why I had a lot of guy friends growing up. Um, because I looked the way I look, guys treated me nicely and girls didn't. I've had many instances where girls that were jealous of me and thought that I wanted to take their boyfriends when honestly it was the other way around. Usually it would be the guys that liked me and I didn't like them back. Um, maybe this is more of a me thing, but I've always felt like I've had to dim my light when I'm around other girls. Because what happens when I don't dim my light is that Guys will try to get my attention and they'll completely overlook my friends. Uh, so now it's a different situation. I am friends with girls that um, uplift me and I can have guy friends because I just know that it's not a platonic friendship. They are always they always have an agenda. And on the other side of the spectrum, I also have girls that look to me almost as a leader because of how I look. If you've had pretty privilege like your whole life, can you stitch this? First of all, not all men are the way I'm about to describe. In my 10 years of service, I have made some true friends, but they are rare, they're hard to find, and they're not always around. I benefit from pretty privilege in my line of work. I notice it. People often use a friendlier tone of voice with me than they do with other people, but they don't want to be friends with me. The faithful married ones don't want to spend time around me at all. The shady married ones want to spend too much time around me. The single ones sometimes become my friends, but they usually stop spending time with me once they get a girlfriend. And some men pretend to be my friend, but once I turn down their sexual advances, at the worst of times, this happens. Whoa, what the f- Yo, what, what, whoa, what, 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 what type of, it took a left turn. Oh snap! That's not good at all, bro. That whoever did that, you horrible person. That's not. That, that's not good at all. Why the? How did this turn it? I have pretty privilege, a hundred percent. But girl, I would trade in that friendly tone of voice for a real friend every single time. Is that done in the video? Bro, who? What? That turn that why did they have to put that at the end? That just kind of killed the whole vibe with the whole thing. Not that it killed the vibe like you shouldn't have showed it, but like that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because she basically saying like she got the 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 pretty the pretty you know the p she got the pp and um dudes always trying to like come on to her and all that stuff, right? And then when she rejected him, some dude like put his hands on her. That's not good at all. If you can't handle rejection, you you are not you are not a man at all. You are a little child. But anyways, I don't I don't want to turn this to that type of video, but 
Man, that's the end of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Do y'all think pretty privilege is a myth? Or y'all think it's real? It's it's a hundred percent real. I don't care what the heck you say. It, it is a hundred percent real. And like I said, it's it's for guys and girls. It just works way more with girls, cause I don't know. Cause like I told y'all, dudes is very physical oriented. They wanna they like seeing nice things. Girls, on the other hand, they just like hearing nice things. Like a rapper, right? A famous dude, a super famous dude, super rich dude. He would get with a regular girl just because he, just because she looks good. If she just looks great, a rapper, a billionaire, a millionaire, super successful person would get with a regular, a regular degular girl just because she looks good. Now, a, a a rapper, a famous successful girl would never get with a with a with a regular dude because he looks good. He has to also be successful and all that. He has to be more successful than her. Or he has to also be a rapper and all this stuff. He not she not just gonna pick up a random dude off the street just because he look good. Like that that just doesn't happen. Y'all could like look at all y'all celebrity peoples. You know what I'm saying? It all started like the dude, it's a, it's just a regular shorty and she and she just looks good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know y'all think in the comments down below. That's about it. I'ma see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.